The Liberian economy is booming here in Monrovia. IT businesses are on the rise. From web shops to computer stores to internet cafes are flooding the town. There's a big pool of ideas, but not every business manages to stay afloat. A successful business sails on professional skills, a solid business plan, and a charismatic entrepreneur. In this series, eight entrepreneurs take the plunge to pitch their ideas for setting up their own IT business right here in Monrovia. They may have the skills. Within one year time, we'll be raising up to 45,000 US dollars. But they lack the funds. We need the amount of 9,200 to achieve this. Witness these promising entrepreneurs swim off with 5,000 US dollars. Which one of the eight contestants will keep their head above water and convince the jury? Charging by the hour for people coming in. Yeah. Yeah. Barnersville is not a very high income area. Meet the jury. These are experts in the business sector. These lifeguards will confront each entrepreneur with critical questions about their business ideas. These very lifeguards will decide who will swim or who will sink. In today's episode, we have Thomas, Francis, and Lucy. First up, Thomas and Francis. I hope they have a viable plan to reel in these lifeguards. We're going to open the cafe. Okay. And in the cafe, we're going to do body function. What do I mean by body function? We're going to be doing desktop publishing. We're going to be doing servicing from the repair. We're also going to have also classes. We're going to be offering those services. IT is our passion, and we see that the coming of Fabo Optic in Liberia is a great opportunity that the government you know, can utilize to augment their education for all agenda. Even the poverty reduction strategy, we know that how information technology can help you know, boost the welfare of people. So these services that we're going to be providing, we have researched very well. I have also have one big strength. See, business is sometimes not about capital. It's about the having value. interest or having the technical know-how into what kind of business you want to do. That's our strength. And look at your, your plan. The amount that you put in there as your setup seems to be understated. Hmm? Uh, <coughs> because to open up with an internet cafe, if you don't have up to... How much you say you are looking for? 5,000. 5, yeah. If you don't have up to at least 10,000, I don't know how you are going to set up a quality internet cafe to do all the things that you are talking about. We have one advantage that maybe you, be, you may not be looking at. Okay, what is most important besides getting the setup, I mean getting the, the place, the computer, what is most important is the technical skills. You, have a, you are going to have a hall, right? You're going yes. to rent or you're going to view. You're going to buy the computers, right? You're going to have, you need to have a generator. You're going to have the internet connect, connectivity. Yeah. Are you telling me all that you are going to do with less than how much? $4,000, We did a assessment, we did a research. The first thing we found a place for $600 US. Yeah. What we pay like around $50 that month. It's almost something like around one year. Okay. You look at you look at computers. We're not going to start with brand new computers. We can have four them. We have a lot of We want to buy 700 computers at least for $100 to $200. Meaning we're going to about five to six computers at a time. So you're going to start up with only five computers? Five to six computers. We want to start small, and later on increase as the principal grow. So if you have five computers though, I'm, I'm just how much are you charging? You charging by the hour? And in fact, during our study, we found out if we only make five dollar US a day, and we have three hundred, we have twenty five person coming to our center. Within one year time, we'll be raising up to forty five thousand US dollars. And if we are only getting ten person coming to that center, we will raise about eighteen thousand dollars in a year. So that is sufficient money to help us increase our services to the community. And besides that, also, we, we, have, we have been technicians for a very long time. If you look at our plan, you have printer. We don't have cost there for printer. We have printers. We have, we have materials to start with. And we need, only need this capital to add on to what we have so that we can keep starting business. We won't be able to generate enough revenue if you are just working on five computers. Where are you getting generator for three hundred and fifty five point five? Because I won't want to. When I look at the other service, the, the main service that you have yeah. that can provide you is your internet cafe. Yeah, that's one aspect. Yeah, the other aspect is still dependent on that your five computers. So if you get the guy off, he's not browsing. That's when you, you can only do your desktop or you do training on that same computer. 
The prices I will give you will depend on the property you bring to me. Do you have a price sheet included in your business plan? No, the price sheet for, for those services is not included because, because, because we believe that we believe that those are things that we can develop. What we included prices for are materials, those non-recurring materials that we think we need to start our business. Yeah. We're talking about your pricing to the customer so we can figure out how you're going to make back the money to pay the loan based on what you're charging the customer. If we estimate, because prices vary in Liberia, right? We have inflation. But we estimate if we all of our services can give us just five USD a day. The five people earning five dollars, eh? you multiply by each of them paying you an average of five dollars. Then you assume 360 days in a year. Which is crazy because that means only five days in a year that you will not work. The reality is that we cannot even make five dollars a day. I know that we can even make more than more than $5. more than fifty dollars a day. I just think this is just another internet cafe. I don't see twenty-five people spending five dollars. If you had said, you know, forty people a day spending a dollar, that'd be more realistic. But I don't see twenty-five people coming and spending five dollars. Um, just to use the internet. So, and you didn't discuss your other services you're going to be offering really in your business plan. So, for me, it's the same. The swimming, the swimming, the singing. So you got you, you got a score, huh? You're a tiebreaker or not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gentlemen. What about you? The swimming. Okay, the swimming. There you go. Good evening, judges. Good evening. I'm Lucy Okolocha. I have a degree in computer science. The name of my business is Cash Kids Training Center. We need to buy computers, furniture, office equipment, stationaries, and generator. We need the amount of 9,200 to achieve this. And I'll be contributing 4,200. Well, at target markets, our parents that have kids that fall under that age, 4 to 16. And we chose this market because we see the need to catch them young. How do you want to catch them young? How are you going to get this potential, whether it's their parents or the, or the children themselves, how are you going to get these children to actually come to your computer school? First, I have spoken with our parents. Mm -hmm. Aside from what I spoken, I can also place adverts, adverts, true media, online, billboard adverts. So what? Because I had adverts on the radio, I would just start running to your school. Yeah, I will. I will convince them because I'll tell them part of the program that I'll teach them. Like initially, I can start with um, typing to them, and also I'll teach them other programs. How they can pro produce their own games, write their own programs, and make a tangible project. Where is this uh, school going to be located? Banners Bay area. Okay, so <clears throat> I like your idea. I think you're well trained in 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 this area, and so I have no doubt that you can you probably do a great training with children. And I think that the the ages you're marketing is very good to get them get them started early. But I have a couple of problems with your plan. One, Barnersville is not a very high income area. Okay. So to get parents to be able to afford $100 when the average person in Barnesville doesn't make $100 a month is going to be extremely difficult. You need to have enough customer to generate the kind of revenue to sustain the cost that you have. There's going to be fixed costs there. You're going to pay rent, you're going to pay electricity. These are fixed costs, okay? That whether you have one student or 100 students, you have to pay. Like, uh, Krista said, it's in the wrong location. In the wrong location. Those target customers cannot afford the kind of uh, cost that you are associated with. So you need to think about changing uh, the location. You need to be more clear how you're going to get consistently, how you're going to get the customers to come. That one is, is not there right now. So these are three things that you need to change. But sitting down here, looking at it, what you have presented, what you have here, based on this uh, this opportunity, I think is the same. Again, I can't say slim for this based on your target market and the pricing. Lucy, for me, it's also a sink. 
but I think you have a very viable business model. It's so viable that there are countless people who are doing just this in Liberia right now. All of our swimmers will take home a $5,000 US dollar loan to expand and grow their IT businesses. These entrepreneurs promise to boost the Liberian economy and the IT sector in Liberia.